Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Sign for Word and PowerPoint. So this is an add-on for Word and PowerPoint that lets you uh, send out documents to be signed by other people, then you'll get it back with a signature on it. So it's kind of a quick way you could just kind of get things signed without having to um, have people, you know, actually physically sign them and then scan them and send them back to you. They could just do it all online here. So this is not free. You'll get a trial if you want to use this. So you could try it out for 30 days, I believe. And then if you like it, you could sign up for it and actually buy it and use it uh, going forward. Okay, so we have to go to this Adobe Sign-In for Word and PowerPoint website here from the Microsoft App Source site. So I'll put a link in the description. And then what you want to do is just click on Get It Now. And then if you're not signed into App Source, you'll have to sign in. And then you want to give them uh, permission to share account information if you want to do so. Otherwise, if you uncheck it, you can't continue. Okay, so after it's done and you're signed in, so if you're not signed in again, it'll have you sign in. Um, you could just click on Open in Word, or if you have Word open, then it should be there. But actually, this is not because Word was already open. So. Let's see what happens if we click on Open in Word from here. Okay, so it says we have a new Office add-in, so if we, just, we want to trust it. It's loading it. And now we have the Adobe Sign Group right here. So let me uh, go back to my other document. All right, so once you have your document, you know, ready to sign, then you could have, a, have this thing send it out to them and request a signature. So if you don't put a signature box, it'll create one for you. So I have this one with no signature box. I'll show you how that works. So you want to click on Send for Signature. Okay, so on this section here, if, you're not, if you don't have an Adobe account and signed up for this trial here, you're going to have to do that. But I've already done that, so I'm going to click on Got It. Okay, so here's the document. It's going to load. So you can actually add a file here. It tells me I'm in trial mode. And you'll send the uh, recipient's email. And then you could uh, add another message here if you want. So please review and complete this document. That's the default message. So we're going to put in this address here. So we're going to send it to her. You can send it to multiple people. Okay. Preview and send. So if you want to preview it, otherwise you can uncheck that. So let's click on continue. I'll give you a little preview here. So that's what it's going to look like on their end. You know, kind of looks the same as my Word document. And click on Send. Okay, now you get a message. There are recipients who need to sign this document that do not have a signature field assigned to them. You can go back and add signature fields. Like I said, I didn't add one, so it's going to make one for me. So we'll click on Send. Okay, so now it says it's been sent. And you're going to be alerted if the document has not been signed or if it's not been viewed. All right, so now we will go to that email account here. Which I have over here. Okay, so this came from Todd. That's who's logged into this email account. Now, one thing I'm doing, even though I'm sending it from Todd, to Cindy, I'm using a different Adobe account for this process because this Todd one is not the right kind of uh, Adobe account or, out, out, or Microsoft account, I should say, to be able to use this add-in. So you don't have to use the same account to send the email as you do for the Adobe part. Okay, so from Todd to Cindy. So that's who we're, you can't see it, but yeah, Cindy right here. Okay, so Todd requests your signature on this document here, so we click on Review and Sign. Okay, so if if this was like a multi-page thing, you could click on the Start thing here and kind of walk you through the process, but this is just a basic thing. You know, st Start's just going to take us right there, so if like the signature box was down further down, you could click on Start and it would take you down. Okay, so now when we click on Sign, we have four options. We could either type in the signature, and I'll kind of use a little font there. 
we could draw in a signature. Let's do that. Can't draw with a <laughs> with a mouse here, but and you could also select an image. So if you have an image file, you could add that to that. Or if you choose this mobile option here, you could have a, a link sent to your d device, and you could sign it on your phone with your finger. So a little more security there. So we're going to stick with the drawing thing. Let me click on apply. Oh, and at the end you have to type you have to type in your name just in case they can't read it. Click on apply. So it shows you a little preview there, and then when everything looks good, you click on click to sign. It's processing. Okay, now it's been sent, and you could also download your own copy if you want. So now we're going to go back to Outlook here, and it says it's been signed. And then we could open it. So it makes it a PDF too, by the way. So there is our file with the signature. And it says certified by Adobe Sign a Document Cloud. And it has the date and time that it was signed. And you can see this too. A little information about the certification. And then up on the top here in the same Adobe Sign box, you have a agreement status where you could kind of check on the status of this uh, signed document. So here's the, uh, it was signed on February 9th, viewed, sent, so it's kind of backwards there, sent, viewed, and then signed. Sent out for signature, viewed by Cindy, signed by Cindy, I don't know why it's in there twice, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of the status of the document. So if you don't have it back in your email, you could go here and then and see that it was sent back to you. Then you can see maybe it was going to your spam or something like that. And then fill and sign. For ourselves here, where you could click if you want to type in your name first. And then you could go sign it, you know, however you want to do it. Let's do the uh, type this time. And click on done. And then from there, you know, you could send a copy, download a copy. So if we click on send a copy. And then so that way you could send a, you could have your own document, sign it, send it off to them. And that way it kind of works the other way. So therefore you could send signed documents and they'll have the Adobe certification, all that good stuff on it when they receive it as well. So let's try that out here. Okay, so that's done there. Okay, tells you you've signed the document. So if we go back to the email here. Okay, so then we have the document sent from Todd that he signed. So we click on that. And so that's what we just made right there. So now let's see what happens if we download it here. Open it up in Adobe Acrobat Reader here. So there you go. So like I said, it works both ways. So you could uh, send signed documents or send documents out to be signed, whatever you decide to do. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So like I said, just, you know, go install the uh, add-on, sign up for it on the Adobe account and for your 30-day trial. And then, you know, when you want to uh, send a, a document for a signature, use the send for signature. You could check the agreement status or you could uh, have your own document, sign it yourself, and then send it off to someone. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.